In a recent presentation by Desai on the Indian Space Research Organization's future lunar exploration plans, more details and plans for Chandrayaan-4 were revealed. The Chandrayaan-4 is an ambitious mission that will not only land on the moon, but also bring back precious lunar samples to Earth. If successful, this will make India only the fourth nation in the world after the USA, Russia, and China to achieve this remarkable feat. With this next step, India poises itself as another strong contender to win the race to the moon. India's journey to the moon began with Chandrayaan-1 in 2008, which made India the fourth country to place a spacecraft in lunar orbit. The mission made the groundbreaking discovery of water molecules on the moon's surface. Chandrayaan-2, launched in 2019, aimed to land a rover on the lunar south pole. But despite the lander's unfortunate crash, the orbiter continues to provide valuable data. The success story continued with Chandrayaan-3 in 2023, achieving a historic milestone by successfully landing on the moon's south pole region making India the first nation to accomplish this feat. The Vikram lander and Pragyan rover have provided unprecedented insights into this largely unexplored area of the moon. Building on the previous missions and following the Chandrayaan program, the primary objective of Chandrayaan-4 is to collect samples from the lunar surface and return them safely to Earth for scientific studies. But there's more to this mission than meets the eye. ISRO aims to demonstrate a range of complex maneuvers and technologies, including number one, performing a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, number two, collecting and packaging lunar samples, number three, launching an ascent vehicle from the moon's surface, number four, performing docking and undocking in lunar orbit, number five, transferring samples between spacecraft modules, and number six, safely returning the samples to Earth. Keeping in mind the previous capabilities that ISRO wants to prove, Chandrayaan-4 is not your typical lunar mission. It's a complex, multi-module endeavor that will push the boundaries of India's space technology. The mission will require two separate launches using India's reliable workhorse rockets, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, and the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, Mark III, LVM-3. The mission architecture consists of five distinct spacecraft modules, each with a crucial role to play. Let's take a closer look at each of these modules and how they'll work together to achieve the mission's objectives. First, we have the Propulsion Module. This important player of the mission will be responsible for ferrying the lander and ascent modules to the moon. Essentially, it's like a cosmic taxi, ensuring its precious cargo reaches its destination safely. The propulsion module will use its powerful engines to guide the spacecraft into lunar orbit, setting the stage for the next phase of the mission. Next up is the lander module, the star of the show. This module will carry out the challenging and critical part of the mission, the soft landing on the lunar surface. Equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and onboard computers, the lander will use its thrusters to carefully navigate its way to the pre-designated landing site near Shiv Shakti Point, the same region where Chandrayaan-3 made history. The lander's legs will absorb the impact of the touchdown, ensuring a gentle landing on the moon's surface. But the lander isn't just there to admire the view. It will also support the ascent module and the sample collection process, using a sophisticated robotic arm. The lander will collect pristine soil samples from the lunar surface, which have remained untouched for billions of years. These samples hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the moon's geological history and potential for future exploration. Once the samples are safely stored inside the ascent module, it's time for the most daring maneuver of the mission. The ascent module will use the lander as a launch pad, igniting its engines and blasting off from the lunar surface. The ascent module will then navigate its way to rendezvous with the waiting orbital module in lunar orbit. The orbiter module, launched separately by the PSLV rocket, will be the command center of the mission. It will not only guide the lander and ascent modules to their destinations, but also receive the precious lunar samples from the ascent module. 
using a series of carefully choreographed maneuvers. The samples will be transferred from the ascent module to the orbiter, ensuring they remain pristine and uncontaminated. Finally, the re-entry module, nestled within the orbiter, will embark on the journey back to Earth. This module is designed to withstand the intense heat and forces of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. As it descends through the sky, it will deploy parachutes to slow its descent, ultimately landing gently on the ground. The lunar sample, safely cocooned inside, will be eagerly received by scientists who will study them in great detail, seeking to unravel the mysteries of the moon. The mission's success hinges on the perfect coordination and execution of each module's tasks. The propulsion module must deliver the lander and ascent modules to the correct lunar orbit. The lander must make a precise, soft landing on the moon's surface. The ascent module must flawlessly lift off and rendezvous with the orbiter. The orbiter must receive and transfer the samples to the re-entry module. And finally, the re-entry module must safely navigate the Earth's atmosphere and deliver its precious cargo. Each step in this complex dance is a testament to India's growing capabilities in space exploration. Chandrayaan-4 will demonstrate India's mastery of soft landing, lunar ascent, rendezvous and docking, and sample return technologies. These are essential building blocks for future missions, including crewed lunar landings and potential sample return missions to other celestial bodies, like Mars. But Chandrayaan-4 is more than just a lunar mission. It's a powerful statement of India's growing capabilities and ambitions in space exploration. This ambitious endeavor builds upon the solid foundation laid by its predecessors, Chandrayaan-1, 2, and 3, each of which pushed the boundaries of what India could achieve in space. ISRO's approach to lunar exploration has been one of steady, incremental progress. With each Chandrayaan mission, India has taken on increasingly complex challenges, demonstrating its ability to innovate, adapt, and overcome obstacles. Chandrayaan-1 placed India among the elite group of nations to have orbited the moon and made the groundbreaking discovery of water molecules on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-2, despite the lander's unfortunate crash, showcased India's ability to develop advanced spacecraft and aim for the challenging lunar South Pole region. Chandrayaan-3's triumphant soft landing at the South Pole cemented India's position as a leading space power, making it the first country to achieve this remarkable feat. Now, with Chandrayaan-4, India is ready to take the next giant leap in lunar exploration. This mission will demonstrate a suite of critical technologies and techniques that will pave the way for future crewed missions and a sustainable presence on the moon. One of the key technologies Chandrayaan-4 will validate is lunar docking. The ability to dock spacecraft in lunar orbit is essential for assembling larger structures, such as a lunar space station or a staging point for deep space missions. By successfully demonstrating rendezvous and docking between the ascent module and the orbiter module, India will join an exclusive club of nations with this capability, opening up new possibilities for collaboration and exploration. Another crucial aspect of the Chandrayaan-4 is sample return. Bringing pristine lunar samples back to Earth is a complex, challenging task that requires precise planning, execution, and technology. The mission's success will validate India's ability to develop autonomous systems for sample collection, handling, and storage, as well as re-entry and recovery technologies. These capabilities are not only essential for understanding the Moon's geological history and potential for resource utilization, but also for future sample return missions to other celestial bodies, like Mars and asteroids. Chandrayaan-4's lunar sample return will also contribute to the international scientific community's efforts to unravel the mysteries of the Moon. By providing access to previously unexplored regions near the South Pole, where water ice and other valuable resources are believed to be present, India will be making a significant contribution to our understanding of the Moon's evolution and potential for sustaining human presence. As India prepares to embark on this groundbreaking mission, the world watches with anticipation. 
Chandrayaan-4 is not just a scientific endeavor. It's a symbol of India's determination to push the boundaries of space exploration and establish itself as a major player in the field. With its innovative approach, cost-effective solutions, and unwavering commitment, ISRO is proving that the race to the moon is not just about reaching there first, but about doing so sustainably and inclusively. As we eagerly await the launch of Chandrayaan-4, one thing is clear. India is ready to take its next giant leap on the lunar surface and leave a lasting imprint on the history of space exploration. The future is bright, and there's no doubt that the Indian tricolor will soar. This is the Space Technician signing off for now, and I'll see you, Space Cowboys, in the next one. <laughs>